I do a quick update on some Point Saint Charles cabooses that I uh, purchased recently. Um, I got three of them from the uh, True Line trains. Um, very nice model, uh, well detailed. Um, a lot of people have uh, mentioned you can find a lot of reviews online. Um, this uh, roof stack um, is not, I guess, not quite prototypical. Um, there's some issues with the height of the couplers. Um, I quickly solved that by just um, taking the screw out of the um, trucks, putting in a KD washer, um, just one washer, and uh, that boosted up the body enough uh, to put the couplers at the correct height. And underneath, uh, some of the brake uh, tubing was interfering uh, with the trucks a little bit when you turn the trucks. So I just uh, clipped that little piece off. Um, that was pretty good. A very simple fix. Um, and uh, yeah, I just added some weathering to these. I did some uh, uh, black wash um, and a little bit of uh, pan pastels on the base. Uh, painted the uh, base structure a grimy black. Um, and on this one, I put a little... Um, a little rust on the wheels, a uh, dark brown color. And on two of the cabooses, uh, this one here and this one over here, uh, I did the modification to add the ditch lights. Uh, that was quite uh, simple actually. Um, I found some pictures online. I'll, I'll post a couple of the pictures in the video. Um, but this uh, end railing pops off the model quite easily. It's just uh, sort of press fit onto the um, steps and the walkway. So that uh, comes off. And then uh, in the back, you just drill out from directly behind where the ditch lights are. Uh, just take, uh, what was maybe one eighth inch um, and just uh, drilled gently. And until I got through the plastic and I uh, got to the back of the lens. So I didn't drill right through, uh, still left the lens in place. And then I took a, uh, some nano LEDs and uh, just uh, glued them in to the back there. And I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, uh, it's a little bit, little bit rough, but you can glue glue them to the back and then I painted over the back of it ran the wires down underneath the walkway and into the circuit board and it was just a matter of hooking up uh, the two wires to the back of the circuit board So these are the LEDs that I used, the uh, nano chip LEDs. Um, these ones were 1650. That was for five of them. I only used uh, two per caboose. Um, they already have the bridge rectifier installed and and the um, resistor, so they're all set to go. All you have to do is wire them up, and I'll show you in a little picture uh, how where the, where they where they connect to the circuit board that's on board the caboose. So it was a little better angle. You can see uh, it gives a very nice, very nice uh, effect. And uh, makes the, the interior lights look a little less green. The uh, only thing that I don't like about them is, uh, you know, they flash a little bit as uh, if you roll across dirty track or something because um, of the uh, contact with the wheels and the pickup. Um, but uh, right now my track's pretty clean, so it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's the only complaint. If you could add a Keep Alive decoder or something to the uh, caboose, that would be uh, the ideal situation.